to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. On today's episode of Honest Trailers, there we are. Let me refer. Let me flip that around. Stop. Think. Then go ahead. You are a dick. So, anyways, <laughs> on today's episode, we're reacting to the Honest Trailer for classic Doctor Who. So we may it know with the return of Doctor Who this season. Pretty much, where we finally get a brand new, fresh take uh, with the first female Doctor. Um, on the show, it looks like they're doing... They did two of them, pretty much. They're doing it for the classics, and will we eventually be doing it probably, pretty much in probably in the next couple videos uh, for the most modern uh, Doctors. So here we're starting off again with Doctor Who classics. Yes, and as I was saying before Converter cut me off was that... It's no secret that we are, of course, fans of the series. Obviously, that's why we're doing it here. Mm -hmm. And we've never... We know some things about Classic Who. I'm not den we're not denying that. I watched uh, the marathon for Classic Who. You watched it, yes. I haven't. But it did... But don't forget, like... They should, may have watched the marathon, but there's still episodes out there that are lost. Like, mm -hmm. there's still episodes out there. Like, not all the Classic Who seasons are complete. Some are still missing. Like yeah. the last time I heard, they found five more last year, I think. Yeah, they still they're still finding more and more as time goes by. Pretty much, they keep uh, finding it and reviving it back up. Pretty much, and I mean, what doesn't help is your show premiered the same day as the JFK assassination. Yeah, it did, and yes. uh, but either which way, at the same time, it's like it's it's progressed and gotten better over over the years. Pretty much, I mean, I saw where why it started dwindling. Pretty much because of. Production costs, things like that. That's why certain, yeah. even in the classic Who, they had them stuck on Earth, so it made production costs so much easier. Yeah, that was they, 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 yeah, that's where they got to a point where they that was budget cost. Originally, yeah, the show started off as like a educational show. It was yeah. like the Doctor went to a random time, the kids learned a lesson, they enjoyed a nice science fiction adventure for a week, and that's yeah. it. And it was it was really fun and exciting, I and mean, it was really. Amazing to see, you know, how they took it back in the day. Some of the effects, some of them, don't get me wrong, were cheesy, but they were great during that time. For us, I know for that time, it would have been like, oh my god, these are the best effects ever. You know, but it was still awesome just to see these these classic tales, sci-fi tales, you know, and it's just amazing. And it's just cool how you saw the first early interpretations of the Daleks or Cybermen and stuff like that compared to what you see nowadays. So it's really awesome. So it's just shut up, stop talking. And see what they have to say about classic Doctor Who. And uh, see which ones uh, they love and don't love. So here we go. You know his name. I'm the Doctor. You know his face. Sis. And you know his mission. Always search for truth. My truth is in the stars. Hmm. Unless you're not from the United Kingdom, then you probably don't know any of those things. <laughs> now, we live over 30 years of classic sci-fi television that will determine once and for all if you're a fan of Doctor Who or a Doctor Who fan. <laughs> yeah. Classic Doctor Who. Meet the Doctor, a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey who travels through space-time in a machine called the TARDIS. And if that's already too weird for you, tap out now, because it's about to get off. <laughs> yeah, I got well, trippy. The the cheetah people, intelligent carnivores. Journey through three decades of adventure, as the show, or I mean the Doctor, keeps things fresh by regenerating into new bodies every few years, like the crabby old man Doctor. <laughs> Pull back and shut up, will you? The beetle haircut childlike Doctor. You caused me a great deal of trouble. God! I'm very glad to hear it. The snake-tatted Kung Fu Austin Powers Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> the this is what most people think all of classic Doctor Who is, Doctor. Tom Baker. <laughs> the he seems nice, Doctor. It's absolutely splendid. It's weird how much connection there that Doctor is with everybody else. Doctor. A noble brow. The almost out of gas, coasting on goodwill, Doctor. Yeti Otton's Daleks. Cyberman and Salarians. And the TV movie one-off George Lazenby Doctor. <laughs> but no okay, you definitely didn't see that one. The TARDIS, one thing remains <laughs> constant. I watched the 90s Doctor. He's either the most <laughs> overrated or underrated Doctor of all time in either the most overrated or underrated era of the show. 
Okay, look, getting Doctor Who fans to agree on who's the best Doctor is like trying to watch every episode of Doctor Who. It's pretty much impossible, yeah. so why even try? Watch as the Doctor and his companions take on some of the most iconic villains of all time, like the Daleks. Exterminate him! Exterminate him! Exterminate him! The Cybermen. We meet again. Doctor. There's logic in what he says. Lord, the Master. The Master. <laughs> then spend the other 90% of the show watching whatever villains the crew could throw together on a low budget. Like... Get our mannequins! Look out, Doctor! Yeah. I forgot they were in original version. Bubble wrap monster. Bubble wrap monster. Rubber spiders. I shall be the ruler of the entire universe. I've heard that episode. The gimp from Pulp Fiction. I will paint. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh! Series of dudes with buckets on their heads. To the devil from hell. <laughs> the inflatable plastic chair of doom. What? What? Even there, yeah, when I watched, I was like, what the fuck? Some villains that it sounds like they're just making up on the spot. They're demons from the planet Demos. Watch them face off in stories serialized across three, four, six, or even ten episodes, jam packed mm -hmm. with enough plot to fill maybe two. We know that pounds are able to live on the surface and that they must have found immunity. Perhaps it is a drug. Is it failing them now? Oh, God. Come on, Nubians. Even you have to admit, this show is very deliberately drawn out. Yes, <laughs> deliberately drawn out. The paradox that is classic Doctor Who, a show that's both timeless and completely out of date. What you need is a jolly good smack bottom. Thrill as it seems to predict future phenomena like the Matrix. Goth must have his own link with the Matrix. The Borg. This is where it got originally. Stephen King. I should have to go to the dark tower. And B-Movie? <laughs> According to classical aerodynamics, it's impossible for a bumblebee to fly. While also being completely inappropriate for modern times. Odd thing, I could swear he was a Chinese. But I feel no pain. Oh, okay, God damn. Got the scrapings of Shanghai. Oh. And that's just from the episode of The Talents of Wen Chiang. I understand. <laughs> oh, oh, God. So, wow. So if yeah, you I said the show, same thing. I was like, wait, no. Kick back and watch on Netflix. Then definitely don't start watching Doctor Who. I am confused. As this completionist nightmare will send you scrambling to find episodes that the BBC erased decades ago by hunting down dozens of DVD box sets, animated recreations, and all. I haven't even plays. finished watching that. secretly pray that all of it just magically turns up like those episodes from Africa. But if you do somehow make it through all 26 series, specials, and TV movies, then answer me this. Why do Doctor Who fans get so angry every time people call him Doctor Who? I'm the Doctor. I keep telling you that. When that's what the show called yeah. him for eight years. They did. Years. They did. They did. They did. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't. Never mind. Story. <laughs> Easily defeated Daleks. They became a lot more difficult to beat in the modern ones. Yeah. How did he blow? Slow. Yeah. Oh my God. A bit dramatic. Okay, just do, just die. <laughs> Convoluted plots. You think for one moment that I forget that I bear the sacred blood of the Francine Greek. The fact that it's kept on the Eden crystal. I'm about to transfer the crystal to the Hecate. The more the talks you doubt you, the more you must convince. It slowly gets less. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, they were bad. What the fuck was that? I can see you again. Line. Oh yeah. You're not, you're not posted in an iron, uh, unconscious. No, I yeah. shot. You shot. Take him. You found the innocent top compartment containing three Daleks. And villains who yell. They stole the van. The Nintians are heading towards Sector Five. The Daleks. Oh my God, that one. Oh my God. Oh, it's like a shit alien monster. Oh, let's prove my point. They still yell. Okay, okay. Okay, we get it. I listen to the big Finnish audio plays. I watch Kanan and company. Just make it stop. <laughs> make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs>
Inspector Space Time. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a shitty joke. So, the Sonic Screwdriver, that's basically just a fancy door opener, right? It's In a lot. In the beginning, that's what it was. Yep, that's what I thought. Now In the beginning, that's what it was. So, so basically what this boils down to is, it's a really fun to watch, the classic, but not a lot of it has aged well. Yeah. Hello, I'm the doctor. Would you like a jelly baby? Jelly babies are actually not that bad. No, they're not bad. Um, but, but that's how it was. Even when I was watching the marathon of it, even there times when I'm sitting going, oh my god, this is so fucking cheesy, but... I don't want to look away because I don't want to see what happens next. Yeah, honestly, it's just, it's just, it's not the fact that all of it aged well. There's a lot of good in there, but it's not a lot of it aged well. No, obviously. it hasn't. It hasn't. And that's why I said. Holy crap, that racist fucking episode. Oh, yeah. When I watched that episode, I was sitting there going, hold up. They could not hire an actual Asian? Are you serious? I see, I, I saw. The the people commenting, at, I was watching this episode on Twitch at that time. People blowing it up, going, "You couldn't find a fucking actual Asian to cast? What the hell? Really?" Yeah. So it's not exactly the best of series to end it off on. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, the classic who, but yeah. it's still iconic. So other than that, like, comment, share, subscribe. If we love honest trailers, go ahead talk to us more about them. Um, so just put down what you thought of uh, Ari O is that overall pretty much put down what you th loved about it or what you enjoyed about uh, this uh, honest trailer any favorite moments from Doctor Who or classic classic yeah from classic Doctor Who pretty much um, any other nostalgic type of uh, thing pretty much you, you they didn't really mention in this because I know that's the one thing they mentioned is about his companions that usually brings along mm -hmm. I'm shocked they didn't talk about that well it's 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 more apparent in the I know modern. I, probably more more apparent in the modern one pretty much but uh uh put down what you thought of it overall favorite uh, doctor favorite episode pretty much from classic who uh let us know in the comments below put down what you thought of our reaction overall but most importantly we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Who-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.